The US Vice President Kamala Harris meeting with the Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky. Any threats to your country, we take seriously and we have rallied our allies and our partners to speak with one voice. The Ukrainian leader made the trip here despite warnings from the US administration that it might be unwise to travel given the threat against his country. Later on stage, he was asked about President Biden's assertion that President Putin has decided to invade in the next few days. We stand ready to respond to everything. We cannot remain passive. How can you live in a state where you are told on a daily basis that war will happen, that tomorrow the advance will happen? It means crushing national currency, money being taken out, businesses closing. Can you live in that kind of country? Can you have stability in that kind of country? No. He also questioned why the announcement of the details of Western sanctions should only come after any invasion. We don't need your sanctions after the bombardment, after our country has been fired at, after we have no borders, after we have no economy, or when part of our country will be occupied. Why would we need sanctions then? NATO and EU leaders are threatening unprecedented sweeping sanctions on Russia, but the details are not finalized. I asked the European Commission President Ursula von der Leyen about possible measures such as stopping EU energy imports and Russia being excluded from the SWIFT banking system. The final uh, decision will be taken in case that Russia is um, uh, beginning a war against Ukraine, any military uh, aggression against Ukraine, and then it's going to be a political decision by the European Council that is taken, but the preparation for the preparation, everything is on the table. Western leaders are not just talking about sanctions Russia might face, but also what a full-scale war might look like. It will be horrendous and uh, uh, we risk the loss of many, many lives. And to have something like this in Europe, uh, it's hard to imagine, but we are closer to that uh, now than we have been uh, any time since the, at least since the end of the Cold War, because we have never seen uh, such a concentration of troops and forces. Uh, and such a readiness with all the different elements uh, in place, everything from, of course, the high-end uh, weapon systems uh, to field hospitals uh, to logistics uh, to command and control. So Russia can launch an attack uh, with uh, hardly any warning time. There's remarkable unity in the words from EU and NATO members here. But if, as President Biden predicts, there's an invasion soon, will that unity persist when it's time for them to take action? James Bays, Al Jazeera, Munich.